Welcome to Top 5, I'm your host Ayaz Akhtar. In honor of the latest Marvel movie, Ant-Man, we thought it'd be fun to take a look at some of the Marvel movies that weren't exactly excellent. That's right, we're taking a look at the Top 5 movies Marvel wants you to forget ever existed. For the sake of clarity, I should say we are including all Marvel properties, not just the Disney Marvel world. So Fox, Sony, and other studios, they're fair game. At number 5 is Ang Lee's Hulk. I know what you're thinking. Wait, it wasn't that bad, right? Sure, there are worse movies, but I'm sure Marvel's owner Disney would rather you remember the Hulk from the recent Avengers movies as the only Hulk. Ang Lee's Hulk tried some interesting things from a film perspective, but it generally didn't work. Also, this movie had the Hulk fight some kind of mutated dogs that everyone nicknamed Hulk Dogs. Hulk versus Hulk Dogs. Let that sink in. At number four is Spider-Man 3. Wow, where to start with this one? Oh, I, I know. The evil Peter Parker finger guns and dancing. There are two dance scenes, one where Mary Jane and happy Harry Osborn dance the twist because it's truly integral to the plot, and when evil Parker dances at a nightclub to show he's evil Parker. Between dance scenes was a Spider-Man movie that had way too much going on with Sandman, Venom, and the Green Goblin. To be fair to the Sony Pictures Spider-Man series, Spider-Man 1 and 2 were pretty good. Number 3 is Catwoman. No, I'm kidding. It's not a Marvel movie, but it is a movie I'd like to forget ever seeing. Anyway, Daredevil, that's number three. The new Netflix series is pretty dang good. The 2003 movie starring Ben Affleck, uh, not so much. There is some terrible dialogue in this movie, including Daredevil growling, time to give the devil his due. Kudos to the production team for trying to make an all red costume work, but sorry, it's an awful costume. Colin Farrell is incredibly over the top as Bullseye. He approaches like Joker from the 1966 Batman levels. Also, the fight scenes couldn't care less about physics. Who needs physics? Not this movie. And number two is X-Men The Last Stand. I was a longtime fan of the X-Men comic book series. X-Men The Last Stand looked like it's gonna follow the Dark Phoenix saga, which was friggin' epic. So yeah, we, we didn't get that in the movie. Cyclops has less than five minutes of screen time. He's sort of important in the Dark Phoenix saga, just a little. Oh, and he dies off screen. If you're gonna kill a major character in a movie for the love of Stan Lee, put the scene in the movie. I could probably rant much more on this, but we should move on. Before we get to number one, let's talk about your picks. I asked you guys on Twitter for your opinion on movies Marvel would like you to forget, and the biggest vote getters were Howard the Duck and the 2005 Fantastic Four. Movies that didn't make this list but could have, Ghost Rider, Amazing Spider-Man 2, Iron Man 2, X-Men Origins Wolverine, and The Punisher. The number two movie on this list made me the most angry, and the number one movie made me the most disappointed. The 1990 Captain America movie. Now this flick featured Captain America in a rubber suit that looked terrible, complete with poorly cut eye holes, and Cap's pretty inept in this movie. The Red Skull, Captain America's longtime German nemesis, is Italian because reasons. Captain America manages to get beaten up by the Red Skull, strapped to a missile headed to the White House. Cap then manages to kick the rocket a bunch of times, which somehow changes the coordinates of the missile so it lands in Alaska instead. This movie was flat out awful. Thankfully, Marvel's made some good Captain America movies so we can all forget this thing ever happened. But if you don't want to forget, it's on a Blu-ray right now. Really. Agree? Disagree with me? Let me know in the comments on YouTube or hit me up on Twitter. I'm at Ayaz. For more top fives like this, visit top5.cnet.com. Thank you for watching.